Hello, it's me, Jackalopium. Welcome along. We're here looking at, yeah, sorry about this, we're here looking at Sands of Sounds. Oh, sorry that the uh, Disc Air 4 walkthrough or playthrough didn't work out, but um, I was finding it really difficult to make a video on that stuff. And um, also, I mean, I am so. So, I, you know, I have to decide I'm so far away from completing the fifth one as well that I'd rather just be playing uh, Disc Air 5. So I decided to, uh, you know, because the videos that I had shot were such poor quality, I decided to drop them all together and try something else. So we're going to look at Sansa Salsa, which is, it kind of promises to be a... Uh, kind of Mountain Blade style game, if anyone remembers Mountain Blade, I'm sure you all do. I think we should just crack on and have a look at what it is. Uh, I think this is uh, it's definitely worth looking at. It's uh, it's an indie game and it's in early access. So, there you go. Everything's set in the desert. Yeah, it's really quite a real, well realized world. There was a war 20 years ago. That war took my father, my mother, my homeland, everything. The black sun rose in the sky, heralding destruction. You've protected mankind for a thousand years. Who am I to judge? But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one who finishes. Okay, so there you go. I don't know what that has to do with anything, however um, compelling it seems. I mean, I'll put the link to the Steam page in the description so you can go and check it out for yourself. Um, we start off looking at uh, a set of different characters which we can choose from. You know, we've got uh, this guy, a spirit man, who's recommended for new players. He is a magic caster. There's the jackal who's a bounty hunter. There's a Hashin, Hashashin right there. Uh, and a sin, as an assassin, there you go. We've got a blade dancer, a berserker, a sentinel, a knight errant. There's even like a, a chance to play a sultan. That's also a difficulty easy. However, <laughs> um, I think we're going to have a look at sh the shaman. Uh, I've never heard of a guy called splatter cat gaming i don't i've never heard of splatter cat gaming and i don't know what he does and i've never seen him play sounds of cells are either so i have no idea what splatter cat gaming has no i'm kidding um i watched um the splatter cat um you know his first impressions and he chose the shaman and it looked like a really cool uh, character to play so I'm actually gonna play a shaman uh, but yeah and um, there's also you know I'll put the link to splatter cats uh, first impression video as well just because I am a fan I do like the guy uh, and I think he's he's really good and you know he's you know I just look up to him even though he's a lot younger than me but he's been doing this for a lot longer than I have and he's really good so I think we have gathered up quite a bit of legacy I have played um, the first couple of uh, minutes of this a couple of times so I do have a few extra legacy points so we'll see about spending them I think I'm going to choose Demonic Sword because it grants a 50% attack bonus to all allies which is rather smart um, I think um, we also need to choose uh, a special ability 
Um, thunderclap maybe, headwind, saw, uh, strike. Uh, I want something that's pretty easy to connect with, with enemies. I'm going to choose Enchanted Blade, so that's our 50 Legacy. I think we start off with 60. I think uh, the new game you would start with 60. So, I mean, it is, you know, reasonably generous. And I've only played for a few minutes. I think what we then do is we take uh, a stat boost. And I think that stat boost is going to be a defensive boost why not oh no we don't have enough we've only got another 30 fine i wonder if there are any cheaper yeah all right so we don't have enough for a stat boost let us go for oh no not for it's just a defensive stat boost we don't we can't afford so i'm gonna take the strength boost instead so we've got three legacy points left so i'm just going to grab the pockets some extra cash over let's take it uh, we're going to be a male why not <laughs> look at him he's got his little uh little ears there what are we going to look like um, I think I think that guy is pretty cool. Um, what are we going to look like? I think there you go. That's the hat. Uh, the face. I think we'll just keep it as is. The body. We'll choose something neat. Uh, he does have a blue tunic in the um, in the three D model. So, uh, so okay, so let's choose that and then trinkets. Do we give ourselves some mask? Terribly mysterious. Or that mask? Yeah, probably not. Or that mask? Wow, that's awesome. Um, instead of, I think we just give him, we give him a mask just like that. Do it. Uh, we'll just be Jack. Uh, move him as usual. Uh, so there you go. We can configure the game content. We'll leave the AI difficulty on normal. We'll leave. Uh, Selecting this option prevents you from recruit, recruiting dragons, angels, phoenixes. Yeah, we don't want realism, man. Turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to hire phoenixes and angels. So there you go. You struggle to open your eyes, the sunlight pierces your eyes. You're in a daze while you hear people chatting about things like humans and leopards. You lean your head and stand up with difficulty. The people surrounding you will take a step back. You try to jolt your own memory, but you could not recall anything except the phrase Jack Elopian. You feel like you have heard the phrase countless times and you finally realise there's that it's your name. You catch a glimpse of somebody's lips moving like he was saying your name, but you look up and he has already turned in the direction of Redstone Valley and left. He's done one. So yeah, we start with, um, it's not actually two walls as it shows, that's actually two units of walls. So if we look at our party, there's us. So we'll stick our knife on, we'll stick our shabby clothes on. We do have a return scroll, which we can utilise as a kind of oh shit button. But yeah, if we look at our party, that is actually eight walls. We start with eight walls, so two units of walls, man. They start off at level five, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, I think we are just going to run through. I know what I want to do, so I think we just crack on. Uh, you hear faint calls for help carried by the wind. The wind gets stronger and the sound becomes clearer. After a while, you finally get to see the owner of the voice. It is a middle-aged man dressed in ragged clothes, carrying an old staff. He grasps a masked woman's hand and runs desperately. Chasing him is a group of humanoid monsters ensconced with flames. So, if you know anything about kind of Islamic or pre-Islamic mythology, this is an Ifrit. Before you can respond, humanoid creatures made a living fire rush towards you, a cruel intent. And so there you go. Press spacebar to roll, press shift to hold current position and attack. <clears throat> press S to stop the action. What happens if you... Uh, that actually doesn't stop the... Hey. Did we not start with our... Okay, so here you go. He's gasping for breath. Thanks for your help, he says. May I ask uh, the name of my benefactor? Uh, we tell him our name. His name is Malak, he says. I am a scholar. He points to the Marsh woman. She is Isra, an orphan picked up in Twin Luna Valley. She was interested in my studies and I took her with me. So there's Isra. What do you study, we ask? We are in an age of war. So we are in an age of war, it seems. Uh, what seems like a useless profession. Now I'm studying the history of this land. Not the old empire, nor the machine age, but something very obscure. He smiles wryly. As long as you're okay, we say. These monsters appeared after the black sun rose in the sky. They appear human. They even have human faces because their bodies are covered in flame. We call them Ifrit. There you go. Why did they attack you, man? If you're lucky, you'll never encounter one, he says. If free are violent by nature, they especially like to attack humans, human mages in particular. This kind of weak, if free isn't even self-aware, but it's said even more powerful if free are smarter than humans. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Thank you, please accept this token of our gratitude. You really are a kind person. The area ahead is dangerous. I suggest you proceed with caution. So he gives us a hundred bucks. Uh, Malak and Isra express the gratitude. Uh, then they continue on their journey. You discover that the freak deteriorate very quickly. Look at them, they're deteriorating. Like burnt charcoal, they fall apart bit by bit until they're finally blown away in the wind. The Battle of the Black Sun has made this world unrecognisable, but people have never stopped fighting it. The appearance of such a monster is unlikely to change anyone's dreams of conquest. You brace your head against the wind and forward so there you go I want to uh, yeah that's us what have we got access to we could enhance our strength okay so we need to Hold on. <laughs> so we do actually need to also learn it, even though we chose it. Okay. Um, not sure I like that. But there you go. That is the first skill we've assigned. But they are rebalancing stuff all the time, so I think that got rebalanced in an update. Yeah, so we've got a maximum of three characters that we can bring in our squad and a maximum of six squads. Six uh, units. I think what we're going to do is go and talk to the caravan leader. At the end of the valley you see a caravan preparing to head into the desert. They are willing to take you with them and give you a trade permit. Fantastic. So Redstone Valley is recommended. So let's go there. Okay, so I'll, the first thing I want to do is head to Redstone Keep, the town. Uh, I think we're going to just grab this treasure chest. Sometimes you can get extra wolves from here. How much Utah do we have? 702. I learned that a trainer was selling war animals. 
Uh, my stand is simple, but my merchandise is only a buck. Can't buy something unique. I don't have any pets. In the well, bugger you then. Uh, we can also hi uh, hire ourselves a mount, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to just do some exploration. Uh, I know that there is a team. Oh, there's a wolf pack right there. Let's attack this wolf pack. Oh, wait, Q. So that was our first battle, we got some woods, some more coins, uh, and a bunch of XP. Uh, I do feel like I need to check my party every battle though. Uh, I don't want to go down too far because I know that there is a battle down here. Um, I'm going to come back to that. What I want to do first off is... This is a kind of holding cell where the guards mistreat the prisoners. Um, so that's a dungeon which we can go down but again. I don't want to go down no dungeons just yet. We need to find a town. I can't remember where the town is. Let's just grab that. We've got a desert tracker scroll. This is some kind of one-on-one -on -one battle with a super powerful deity. Uh, there's a bit of, um, so there you go, there's a cowardly warrior, I think he gives you a quest, right? I've come back to see you, says the cowardly warrior, I'm a traveller, my brother was killed here during the battle of the black sun, he was brave, he was a brave, brave man, do you know your letters, traveller, I need someone to help me write down my brother's uh, story so that more people can know of his exploits. Do you know your letters, Traveller? Really, that's great. The story is quite long. I hope that's okay. Would you like to hear the soldier's tale? Sure. Let's listen to the soldier's tale. I will tell you the story in exquisite detail. Good. Cannot wait. Uh, so this is the warrior's memories. We were brothers in arms who met during the Battle of the Black Sun. I was conscripted by the Oryx as a rank and file soldier. So let's talk to this brave warrior. Hey, you must be new around here, he says. Hello, says the cowardly warrior. Hey there, you don't look too well, says the brave guy. I'm about to be sent to my battle. Uh, I'm about to be sent to my death in battle. What on earth is this fool prattling about? Hey, you stop chit-chatting and come finish your training. <laughs> Oh, no, we died. Don't! Oh. Alright, so I think we do have to um, defeat this guy's demons, I guess. Uh, I still want to find the town. Is this the town? Yeah, so this is the Redstone Keep. Uh, so I think that's what we do. We talk to the keep guard. We're recruiting volunteers recently. A, a group of desert hippies came by blabbing about being followers of the fire god. They're converting people all over the place so they can perform a summoning ritual. They're, <laughs> they're desert hippies. That's amazing. So burning, man. It's tricky. There happens to be a mountainous region to the south, and some claim to see molten lava beings down local sultan has my garrison there to defend the town entrance I and mean, then can't get any closer to find out exactly what these folks are up to if you could take three squads over there you go he could entrust a quest not bad all right so i think what we need is we need some look at this guy that's shafaquat what a name right i think we talk to the redstone keep we talk to, I believe it's the keep chief here. There's some bandits causing trouble by, from stealing from our caravan. We've been waiting for so long for someone to come. If you can help us, we're willing to pay all of this money. 
Uh, so I don't want to accept this just yet. How do we... Perhaps you can't hire people from the keep. What do you want? <laughs> uh, okay, so... I thought you could hire people in, uh, in every town, but I guess that's not true. There's a mysterious witch. There's, a, there's that guard. There's a wandering painter. So these are legacy stones, they dot the place, so that's given us uh, one prestige. Alright, let's uh, forget about Redstone Keep, let's just press on. Is there anything we can do there? No. Um, we need to find somewhere where we can recruit some farmers. Have done that off camera, but I can't remember exactly where it is. So basically, the first thing you need to do is find a town and go and hire farmers. Yeah, we don't want to attack those, even on accident, because they'll just stare uh, horse with us. There you go, we've got some more prestige. And there is a Desert Brotherhood bandit. Let's attack him. Have you heard of the famous Desert Brotherhood? I have not. Hand over the valuables, man. Um, so let's just fight this guy. There you go. We got off a Q attack. There you go. They're all dead. So we got some ironstone, some cantaloupes, and a bit more money. Um, again, check the party. Yep, we have all of our woofs. I'm going to avoid the desert bandit for just now. Don't want to go that way either. I think that's something bad. There's a bandit camp, which once we get stronger, I guess we can probably start fighting. Um, here we go. So we go ember mines. I don't want to go ember mines. I want to go crying rock, I believe. So. I think we should head there. So we are in the wrong place. I don't want to do anything until we hire ourselves, you know, at least a third unit. But I will probably take two units of farmers or three even. There you go. So cry and rock. This is another dungeon, I think. Yeah, it is, but we can only take characters. I'm not exactly sure how you gain characters. You do need to quest for them. They give you quest, I think. All right. No, we want to avoid him for now. Oh, no, that's uh, the holding cell. What is this? Some wandering apprentice witches have gathered here. Would you like to recruit a, a squadron of apprentice witches? It's going to cost us 200 Utah. Do I have all of that? Do I have Jade? I mean, I, no. I don't have. I don't have the wood and the jade, etc. But there's a, a bunch of witches. So that's another unit you can recruit. Just want some bog standard farmers, man. I remember I was wandering around for quite some time before I came across 
Oh, oh well, I can see you now. There you go, limestone flower. Okay, so Cotter Town. Let us talk to the chief. Are you looking for something to do? I want to ship some supplies to Redstone Keep, the West Outpost. Uh, no. I want to hire some help, man. Mercenary swordsmen are looking for work here. It just depends on whether you have the right coin. Mercenary swordsman? Do you want to hire some mercenaries? Um, I'm going to say no for now, and that was the Doomsday Whistle. Uh, we're not going to hire them just yet. I'm pretty sure, can't you just hire some... I hired some farmers somewhere, man. But where did I hire them from? I don't even remember. There you go. I think maybe we can. Can we hire farmers here? Uh, there you go. I think we should be able to hire some uh, Deakin villagers. So that's 150 ducats to grab this. Uh, yes, I want to recruit. So we've got now a third unit of villagers. Once per week that's available. And so we now have a third group of fighters. Uh, but that was the Doomsday Whistle, so that is going to bring this episode to an end. That's going to be the first episode of Santa Salsa. Um, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more in the way of Santa Salsa. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. If it can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth.